Hey guys, Zul'jin here and welcome back to another episode of Outpost Zero. So, last time we left off we got a few petroleum outposts done and ever since then I've been thinking how nice outposts have been so I've been putting up a few more and they've been working out pretty good. I put some up over here earlier with solar panels Although I haven't added the battery yet, I was coming back now that I have the required amount of sulfur to create the batteries, and I was gonna do one. One is for a silica and a silica node, and one is for an iron node. So this one, uh, it hasn't run a whole bunch yet. It did grab a couple of iron, but I think a battery um, might make this a lot better. So let's go ahead and make one of these battery. So yeah, the steam furnaces, they're very nice. Don't get me wrong, they're very nice. Um, but you have to maintain them a little bit more than I'd like to. And I think the battery and the solar panel does pretty good together. Um, adding the extra is not that bad, you know, especially with how easy carbon is to get. And I wanted to make that a little bit easier, so I actually upgraded the sword to see how that works. And I'm gonna test that with you guys, let's see. I only grabbed one silica from this. Let's go ahead and add the battery. I think the battery is going to be a welcome addition to what we need over time here. Let's see. Uh, I haven't played around with power pylons that much lately because I really don't know what kind of range they have on them. It's nighttime, so I still won't be able to tell until the sun really comes out or whatever. But we'll be able to see how uh, these range a little bit later. There was one more... I wanted to take care of here and uh, let's see here battery bank there we go all right these should be good so I ended up grabbing a tier 3 sword why did I skip tier 2 well I had the resources the materials I'll show y'all but first let me just show y'all how it looks so this is a tier 1 sword okay I'm getting 200 and I'm getting 8 carbon and doing about 400 damage to it at a time. This is the tier 3 sword. It looks exactly the same, but I'm doing 321 and getting like 6 carbon from it. So not that much more impressive as far as damage is concerned or harvesting. I wonder how it affects mobs. I'm hearing a crab or something. Weaver hatchling? So it actually does just about as much damage as the other one did. Hmm. That's an interesting phenomenon. Uh, oh, that was new. Chemicals. I needed some of these. How, ma how many was that? Uh, was it zero? It showed chemicals, yet it did not give me chemicals. What? Oh, something's going on where it's kind of glitching out. You can see the menu start to come up. Huh. I have no idea. I well saw chemicals. You guys did too. I know you did. I know you did. So yeah, 321. So I think it does do less damage than tier 1 sword. Hold on a second. Let's take a look at what I'm using right now. Yeah, sword tier 3. So if we take a look at the tier 3 sword, hack and slash your enemies to pieces. This is the tier 3 sword. Accuracy, it gives a magazine capacity bonus. 0.427 damage. So let us let me see. Combat damage, 107.39. If I equipped my sword weapon, 132, 416, what? How does this work? I'm not too sure. <laughs> I'm not too sure what to do with this. So, block armor. So, the block armor is a lot higher on this one. But the stats on it are terrible. I got magazine capacity. So, what happens if I try to scrap it? I get just five iron for it? No way. I'm going to put that as a backup or something like that. So that's a pretty rough example of what can happen when you actually spend the resources for something. Holy crap, man. That kind of sucks. <laughs> like, 
you would think that the amount of resources and time that it took to craft a tier 3 weapon over a tier 1 weapon, there would be no way of it being anywhere close to as good, you know? But it turns out my tier 1 weapon is actually better than my tier 3 weapon. So we're going to have to try it on another mining tool or something like that, I think. Um, so let's take a look at what we'll need for a tier 3, I don't know, a tier 3 uh, drill. Okay, let's take a look here. So, tier 3 drill. Let's access the workbench. How did I upgrade the workbench, by the way? Well, it required hardened steel, which I had gotten already. So, see how it says demolish right now? There's no way. We can get the hardened steel back from demolishing this, but it takes 10 steel to upgrade to a tier 2 and 10 hardened steel to upgrade to a tier 3. Let's go to the super tab here and select... Hmm. Yeah, I, th I guess I'm going to do the... Um... We could do the multi-tool. We need hardened steel for that as well, though. So 10 hardened steel here. I don't think I have any more hardened steel, to tell you the truth. Um, great for everything. I like that. I like that. It might save me some room in my inventory. Also, let's take a look at the armor. The armor gives me more inventory slots, I do believe. Some of it did. I think the worker stuff did. So if I look at the worker helmet tier 3, for instance... I get anywhere between 4 to 10 inventory slots. I need hardened plastic and hardened steel for this. And carbon fiber. Are you on top of my base? These things are so aggravating, man. What I found is when you kill them, if you don't loot their bodies, as hard as that is to do, they don't respawn as fast. I don't know where it's at. I have no idea where this thing's at. Oh well. <laughs> the heck with it. All right. So let's take a look at hardened steel, for instance. This is a tier two, so I upgraded it with steel. And you can see here that in order to produce hardened steel, I need steel and titanium. Well. I've been getting some titanium. It's a byproduct from harvesting different resources. So I'm going to grab this steel. And I'm going to grab the titanium. Which is right here. Prepare to meet your maker, oh you boy. And I got a pirate that's trying to get me. Okay. No problem though. Hardened steel. So it takes 10. So we haven't got a whole bunch of titanium yet. So we could craft this and it does take a little while. Also... It looks like I'm already crafting one of these carbon fibers. I'm going to let that happen until I hear that pirate. There he is. He went in my bait. You just passed me up and tried to... Oh, my God. You did a little cartwheel? You stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Okay. <laughs> what the heck, man? I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice this um, this weapon for just some more iron or whatever. I say sacrifice it. You know what I mean. All right. So this carbon is done almost. And then the hardened steel will have to make. And naturally, we'll need some more resources to make both of these happen, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. So that was one. Carbon, carbon fiber. Yeah. So that's taking petroleum and carbon, and the hardened steel is going to take 10 steel. I'm going to need what we what we said, 5 of that? I'm still going to need one more steel, and I'm going to need more titanium. So I think we're going to actually have to go and grab more titanium. I'm thinking there's nodes here and there of titanium that we can get as well. I haven't seen any, but we might have to do some exploring for it. Let's see. I have... A bunch of different things here. I tell you what, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I am going to go in search of this stuff to see what we can do. Let's put the steel up. Let's put a bunch of this stuff up, actually. We only have our, uh, our sword and stuff. We'll put some of this in the generators. 
and we'll be able to go on from there. Let's just move all of this stuff. All right. Um, I guess I should bring all of my weapons, all of my stuff just in case. I'm not going to bring my tier 3 sword because we already know that. <laughs> I don't need that one. And for some reason, my armor did not show that it was equipped until it was. Uh, so let's go towards the middle of the map here, I think. We got Copper Valley, it shows, Andre Hills. Uh, let's see. I think we're going to head southwest here then. Southwest will bring us to toward the middle of the map. This is the same path as we kind of take for um, going to um, our petroleum. Which, by the way, I wanted to show you all is acting a little bit peculiar. So the petroleum harvesters that I set up last episode, it's almost like the nodes aren't regenerating. So all of the nodes that I've ever placed a harvester on or anything like that regenerate. At first, they have this big high number like 100, and then after you deplete them, it turns to 30. After that number is depleted, you can only get 30 out, and when it refreshes, it only goes back to 30. I've never seen it go higher than that yet. So I'm thinking that it has something to do with the way the nodes regenerate. I don't know if it's intended as a bug, but you see that oil, how it's a big rock right now? That means it's depleted, and you'll notice that when you deplete any sort of um, any sort of uh, node that it changes shape, but I can bet you that this thing is not gonna have any oil in it. Yep, petroleum depleted, so that has not improved yet. Has not. Like this node, for instance, iron thirty. Okay, I'm just gonna deplete this really quickly, and you'll see that it changes shape. See? See how it changed shape like that? Get off me, spiders! Dang, dogs, spiders! It's a freaking zoo out here. Okay, I am going to only really take materials that I really want to take back with me right now. I'm not going to worry about a whole bunch of this stuff. Also, I'm going to recharge on this energy rock while I can. So yeah, the, the nodes, you can go right up to it, by the way, and extract it. And it does the same thing. You can't extract it from the water. You have to build some bridges to it. Uh, but I did that a little bit further down just to see if I could. And sure enough, I depleted the node. Now, if the fact of the matter is that you can't really deplete the node, then I don't know what to do. But this is the one I, uh, that I depleted. Now, my harvester's on top, and it won't, like, the node won't regenerate. But this one should. This one, this one does look like it should. So I'll go down right here and look petroleum 30 so this one's harvesting correctly I'll go ahead and equip my my deal my extractor and it depleted and you see it changes so I don't know we'll have to check to see if that actually changes uh, on our way back anyway southwest is where we're headed and it looks like there's something on the map right there I don't know what that is that's something that I did Oh, that's oh, that's one of those. Aha! Um, so I've never really fought these. I'm armored and stuff, so it should be fine. Let's see how much damage they can do. A crimson mauler, four thousand hit points, man. Wow. I don't know how hard these guys hit, but holy crap! Wow! Where the hell am I now? Dude. I got smoked. Um. Go fast. Dude. Well, I think it's safe to say you need guns for that. Holy jeez. That thing destroyed me. So, if we are to get titanium, we'll have to duck and dodge those things for sure. I thought that was going to be a shoe-in. And again, that was with the stronger of the three swords that I had. Oh my god, look at all the poo-poo that's coming out of the earth after me.
God! Get away! Ah! No! I need, I need my, my, my sword. Sword, please! Ouch! No! Run! Run! Tab! Equip! Oh, I had the sword on me that whole time? Son of a... What a panic state I was in. I can't be responsible for my own actions when I'm panicking. How can you just go spawn and just get that much stuff thrown at you at one time? Okay. It's tier 3 sword. Whew. Thank goodness. Well, I'm glad we made the crappy tier 3 sword because... I wouldn't have had any way of uh, defending myself against those things except for a hatchet. Also, do you always spawn with this much stuff? If that's the case, why wouldn't you just die over and over and over again? Look at this. Robotic assemblies. Like, I was... Wow. Robotic assembly miscellaneous. Robotic assembly miscellaneous. Um, weird, man. Okay, well, that. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, Dick Game, for the death. I still need to go retrieve my stuff, which is going to be way out here now. So, I'm wondering if it's just like a backpack that I can get. Let's see, this is Zuldin is destroyed by a mauler. So, it does show that I have a corpse there. I'm really hoping that I'll just be able to get my stuff. Now, that mauler's going to be right by there, but I don't think I can outrun him. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to outrun him, but I definitely think that... Um, God, you need to be... I mean, it didn't kind of hit me. I mean, I had full tier 1 gear. That thing destroyed me. One shot. One shot, one kill. It has to... Oh, there it is. There it is. Whoo! Thank goodness. I have to equip all of this. Okay. Man, quit playing inventory. Open up and let me... Every once in a while it's got this little inventory glitch. All right, thank goodness, man. I would have felt so bad. Okay, we're not fighting any more of these things. It's not happening. But we are going to go a little bit further and see what we could find. Now, I know we have found... Oh, no. Now, a pirate captain's destroying foundations. That is no good. Dang it, Bobby. That's why you need drones at your base. Oh, my God. What a fiasco. Hey! Get out of there, stupid... Where is he at? Where is he at? I have no idea where this son of a gun is at. Is he on top? I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Hey! Feel it every piece of this tier 3 sword on your face. Oh my god. Ah. <sighs> You two, get out of here. I'm trying to go on an expedition. Dang, man. What a fiasco. All right, hold on. Let me close this door. They got a foundation that they broke out here and stuff. I need silica for this. 
All right. <laughs> now that we got the base repaired and the pirates are gone and everything, I've made it my way back here. And I'm going to try to go a little bit further before the next pirate attack. Granted, there will be another one. I mean, it happens pretty much like clockwork. But I'm determined to see what else we can find out here. So without further ado, let's push on and see what we got. Uh, see some more nodes of all sorts of stuff, to tell you the truth. I want to stop and get all of this freaking iron. I, uh, I actually asked the devs in chat a second ago in the Discord what was going on with things spawning on top of my base. And it seems they think that it might be a problem with the size of my base. So we'll be doing some upgrades here pretty soon. Um, but first, I want to go a little bit further here and see what's going on. Thank goodness. This is hatchlings. Hatchlings. Hatchlings are okay. Hatchlings are okay. Here is... I might as well pick up that uranium while I'm here from my little harvesters. Let's see here. I uh, got 41 magnetite. And... 121 uranium, very nice. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of, um, of stuff that I have in here. I might as well harvest some more. Put a little bit of carbon in it and have it working, you know? Let's just get this one right here. Nice. And this one because I can. Perfect load you up if you let me interface with you boom perfect all right it's gonna keep running now all right let's see also was any of these hurt no I mean I saw a progress bar and I was thinking that might have been how bad off it was but it's not that bad okay so if we going this way I have to go to the center Looks like we're going to have to take the high ground. It's copper right there. I don't know if there's any titanium nodes. It seems like there should be. But we're going to have to go across. And I've heard there's some pretty bad creatures here. I mean, I've already, I've also experienced that. <laughs> so, um, I don't know how to get across there. I suppose that I could just kind of go across to the bottom here. Let's see what I can do. Also, this looks like silver. Yes. Gotta make sure it's not titanium. This does not look like it's traversable. No. I'm gonna have to get to a spot to where I can go up a little bit more reliably. Maybe right here. Uh-huh. All right, now we talking. Now we're talking. Incoming earthquake. That sounds like it's gonna suck. Alright, we already know not to mess with anything bigger than us. Ha ha ha! The little ones destroyed us. Much less the big ones. Oh, what is that over there? Is this guy gonna mess with me? They're all hatchlings and stuff. As long as they say hatchlings, they're fine. What is this? This is regular iron. Oh, this is a thousand? What? I mean, I can't really pass this up. <laughs> I can't really pass it up. I mean, I, oh my God, there's a ton of it. Oh, the concentration gets a little bit better as you go deeper, it looks like. Okay. What about titanium? And I wonder if these nodes yield a little bit better. Hold on. We're going to have to check. Okay. It, we, we owe it to ourselves to check. Let's hit it with the hand drill and see what happens. It does not look like it's producing an unbelievable amount of titanium. Normally, you would just get some nodes that start falling off of it in like in rock form. But after quite a few clicks, it doesn't look like it. Still doesn't mean I shouldn't huh, check these nodes though. Holy crap, man. Yeah, we're gonna have to get some of these on the way back, but I'm not gonna do all that on camera. I'm not gonna do all that on camera, guys. It's not where just chipping away at a big old node 
You guys want to see new stuff? I do too. Alright. That looks like the devil. Still no new kind of nodes that I can see. To meet your oh no. That's gonna go on at my base. Which means I don't have anything to protect it over there. So in order to leave it, that's kind of what you gotta do, you know? Iron and iron. Jeez. That's that's what you gotta do. If you're gonna leave it, you gotta kinda prepare for it. Look at this. Is this just it's kinda glitchy right here? Oh, that hurts. Um, is it just uranium? Yes, it's just uranium. Yeah, that kind of hurts, man. That kind of hurts. Well, I don't know if there's a titanium node then. I don't know. It might be at other areas. So far, I have not seen any. That's iron. Huh. Well, it looks like the journey for titanium is it's not going to work out here. We need to get back to the base before that guy destroys everything. Yeah, he's here. He's messing all kind of stuff up inside. Dude, yeah, I have to get me some guards online. Man. I got to get me some guards online. Uh-oh. Apparently a doggy followed me in too. My goodness. Why is everything offline? Why do I have a hundred animals trying to kill me? My gosh. Well, that ended uh, abruptly. I'm getting some good stuff from some of these things, though. Okay, everything is powered offline right now. Because... I don't know why. Uh, let's see here. Carbon. We had carbon, right? Uh, this is on. This is... Aha, that's what's going on here. All right, let me quickly access the storage. And uh, I got some more hardened steel, that's really nice. There we go, okay. Just grab some of this and uh, put half in here, put half in here. Okay, lights are back on. Whew. Okay, lights are back on. We still have some of that magnetite, and we also have one of these. I like the fact that these things come loaded with ammo. Check this out. Oh, maybe it didn't. Oh, I know what happened. Sometimes there's a little inventory bug. If you don't get off my roof, sucker. Uh, shotgun. There it is. So if I equip it, you see I have 12 ammo on it? I'm gonna go upstairs and try it out too. Where? You're on top? Get off my roof! It's kinda weak sauce. <laughs> it's kinda weak sauce, but it did the it did the dadgum job. Oh man. Well, what a day this was. So, I think we know what direction we need to head. We need to make the base bigger so that this can possibly do what it's supposed to do. Um, and, um, and keep the spawns off my roof. And uh, we also need to, uh, we need to figure out titanium too. If you guys have seen titanium, y'all let me know. Um, other than that, I just need to harvest more iron, I guess, to get more titanium and keep going. And we definitely need to get some AI online, some more stuff just to automate everything. I'm trying to get into the process of getting more drones and, and may, hell, maybe even those guardians or whatever. Because some of the things that we need, if we take a look at this. So just look in some of this stuff, guys. It doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. That's a, It's a pretty big upgrade. So I'm looking at the guard chassis and you need four robotic assemblies and an advanced AI core, okay? The advanced AI cores take 10 advanced circuit boards. Advanced circuit boards take silver, magnetite, and regular circuit boards. And circuit boards take 
Robotic assemblies. Wait, no, no. Circuit boards take copper wiring and silica. So it's pretty deep. <laughs> it's it's actually really, really, really deep uh, to get these things to work in. So the um, the fact that I have AI cores here and iron, I think I'm going to make a couple of autonomous drones. And I'm also going to make a charging station out here. I'm going to try to put star charging stations all over the place so they don't actually fall apart. And we're going to see how those work. So the charging stations we're going to need copper for. And let me get this other one. Autonomous drone, craft. There we go. Because we don't actually need the AI cores for anything. Um, except for these. So we've got Travis and we're going to have another one. Let's see what it tells us. <laughs> All right. Bot population exceeded upgrade your command center. Okay. Um, did it let me actually get that? No, he's still in there. Okay. I got you. So what we'll do is look at the command center here. Upgrade. And... There we go. Colony has reached level two. I should get copper while I'm in there too. Let's see. Do I have copper around here? Iron resources. Copper is the stuff that looks like... I know what I'm looking for. That's silica. Sulfur, iron. Oh, come on, man. I don't know where anything's at anymore. There we go, copper. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Boom. <laughs> Autonomous drone. <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, let's see here. We need you. I tell you what. I'm just gonna have uh, you guys. What? Uh, Building or crafting, uh, we can do. We don't want equipment, workbenches, material processor, robotics, or machine shops. We want operations, haul resources, supply turrets, replace uranium, fuel gas generators, stoke furnaces. I want you to stoke furnaces. How about that? And as for you, we can just have you mine, and you are just going to mine. Um, would it? I was gonna say carbon, but how about that? Work, work. Will you get carbon actually? Plants. There we go. Okay, so one of you guys is gonna stoke furnaces, and the other one is going to mine for carbon. And hopefully that works out. I don't exactly know how that's gonna go, but let me do the charging station right here, as we said that we were gonna do earlier. And I'm kind of scared to see what's going to happen with um, with the pirates and stuff around here. But we're going to have to see how that goes. We'll fill this up with the handy. Alright, we're just going to keep these out right now. Just so they can come to it easily. Because of AI pathing, it's a little bit weird. All right, so we got a couple of these, and I guess next episode, guys, we're going to work towards one of the um, the automations or whatever. I'll get a little bit of equipment uh, crafted offline, and then we'll see what we can do. But that's going to be it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support, and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulvian signing off, and we'll see you next time.